just wish boys would think like just think for a second alone anymore and i'm at my breaking point i can do it physically alone i've been doing it but i don't want to i don't just like it's really hard when like i don't have uh, I don't really have anyone to go to like on a Friday night. Injecting myself twice a day in order to freeze my eggs as a 37 year old woman who is single with no man inside. I also feel like I'm getting older and it's like I have to put some effort into dating or I'm just gonna be alone forever but now I'm just honestly getting to the point where I'm just gonna be the single aunt. Can someone tell me why it still hurts even when like you're getting back into dating and you feel more- I'm just really really feeling really sad today. I miss him so much. I'm so sad. You know what? Forget it. Forget everything I said. Just come back. I don't want to be alone. What man is going to look at that and say, you know what? I do need to pay her bills. Ladies, this is what you should ask yourself before you ask your man, that man, he ain't yours yet. Ask yourself, what am I bringing to him to ease or make his life better? Mm -hmm. That's what value is. If you can't answer that question, you don't deserve anything yet. What has that man said in the way that you bring him value? If it's only let me take you to dinner, let me take you to eat, let me do. What, why does he want to keep serving you if there's no service back? It is the law of reciprocity. What can you do to support that man? And that is the problem with these modern day women. It is all I, 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 me, 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 take, 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 take. You got to be careful who you give to because takers don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am tired. These people, are, they are ruining this generation. It's literally ruining the generation. Mm -hmm. And then little girls are glamorizing and fetish fetishizing. I mean, they got sexy red as a role model, girl. Oh. This is where things really get messy. The dating world today lacks one key thing. Reciprocity. Too many people are taking and not enough are giving. Givers have to set boundaries because takers, they don't have any. A lot of women come into relationships expecting the world but offering very little in return. And when asked what they bring to the table, they often respond with frustration or anger. The truth is, it's entitlement mixed with a lack of self-awareness that creates this imbalance. Men are growing tired of putting all their effort, time, and resources into relationships that feel one-sided. They've had enough of giving without receiving. Reciprocity is crucial to any relationship. Both people need to contribute equally, plain and simple. If women want healthy, fulfilling relationships, they need to understand the importance of mutual effort. It's not about tallying who gives more, but ensuring there's a balance of respect, appreciation, and contribution. Without that, relationships crumble. Men to realize that it's an entirely different thing when women come on this out and vocalizes the experiences that other men have put them through. I just had a homeboy tell me that I'm part of the problem and I'm ignorant because I come on this app and I made a video like men are selfish. Men tend to be unempathetic. And don't get me wrong, I understand there are women. The issue on this app is because some people think their feelings are more valid than others. And in this take of hers, I believe she is saying that since men have always depressed women that women's feelings should be taken into account more i'm sorry that's where your issue lies because in reality men in the past were not allowed to express themselves the way they are today and even when men do express themselves a lot of you don't want to hear them out because you're too worried about your own feelings and now you have a tug of war of whose feelings are more valid when in reality both feelings of both genders are equally as important don't get me wrong i still understand the fact that women in 2024 are still battling what they can. Here's the thing. Women often chase after the very traits they complain about later. They flock to men who treat them poorly, then wonder why they end up hurt. The truth is, they perpetuate the cycle themselves. Women complain about being single moms or dealing with men who won't commit. Yet these are often the same men they chose in the first place. When a good man comes along, he's overlooked for someone more exciting or toxic, and the cycle continues. Men have historically sacrificed much, often giving their lives for the well-being of their families. Yet women seem to forget the struggles that men have faced too, particularly those in lower classes. The key to change? Accountability. Women need to stop rewarding bad behavior and start valuing the men who treat them with respect. Until that happens, the dating world will remain stuck in the same old patterns.
Can someone tell me why it still hurts even when like you're getting back into dating and you feel more, more mature and you end things with someone after like a couple of dates and like I've been on like three dates recently, like three dates with three different guys, but I, I've gone on like second dates with all of them, second or third dates, and I ended it with one guy, the other guy ended it with me, but I was gonna end it with him anyway, so that was mutual, and this other guy, you just can tell he doesn't feel it, and like I thought that because I'm more mature and because it's mutual or because I'm making the decision that it would be less hard and I would be less sad because it's early on and stuff, but I think when it's just stacked on top of each other like it adds up like why am i crying like does anybody else feel this way even just like when you feel like you're mostly healed and you're going back into dating like why does it still hurt i hate it out here <laughs> we've all been there you're in your late 20s still struggling to find a lasting connection and it feels like rejection is your new normal you've done everything right but somehow it's not working out let me tell you something. It's not always your fault. Maturity brings clarity, and sometimes that clarity reveals that the problem isn't you. It's the choices you've made along the way. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and care. It's not just about you avoiding loneliness. You can't expect someone else to constantly walk on eggshells around your feelings. That's exhausting, right? Men who understand their own value won't stick around for a relationship like that. So your girl just got stood up by her hinge date. Um, it's currently 7.20 right now. Our reservation was for 6.30 and he never showed. I sent a message like, hey, like, are you nearly there? Like, are you parking? Um, just letting you know that I'm here, blah, 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 blah. And I don't get a response. So I'm like, okay, cool, he must be driving. No problem, he'll get here when he gets here. Wait about another 20 minutes, it's 6.40. We're past our reservation time now at this point. I don't know what to do, I'm waiting on a bench, like what's going on, I'm a little bit confused. Message him again, like, hey, are you coming? Like, no problem, like, is everything okay? Like, because in my head I'm like, oh, maybe something's happened, maybe he's run into a bit of traffic, maybe he's really running late, I don't know, maybe something's happened, right? Get to 6.50, 7-ish, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think he's coming. So I've been, I was waiting on that bench for about an hour, waiting for him. I go to message him, because we're nearly seven-ish now, and I can't find him. I can't find him on Hinge at all. Like, he's like, obviously we've just recently been talking, so I should be able to find him. I can, cannot find him. He's obviously unmatched me, and I am now sitting in my car at 7.20, and I don't know what to do. This scenario plays out way too often, and it makes you wonder, where's the respect and consideration in dating nowadays? Imagine this. Two people make plans for a date. They book a table at a nice restaurant, and one of them, let's say the woman, shows up on time, dressed up, excited, but she's left waiting. Her date? Nowhere to be found. What does this say? It screams disrespect. Why even make plans if you're not going to follow through? It's not just about the wasted time. It's about the emotional toll it takes. One person is investing effort and enthusiasm while the other couldn't care less. Is this selfishness? Laziness? Whatever it is, it's a massive red flag.